I'm going to show you Blackmagic's new-ish cloud storage system that they've implemented for DaVinci Resolve. Now, this is slightly different to their cloud store that they announced a couple of years ago. This is a system that is just purely cloud-based. You don't need to buy one of their systems to have it. You do need to pay for their storage, but you don't need one of the USB or network attached devices. So I'll show you how it works and why I'm using it and why I think it's pretty cool. So let's load up Resolve. All right, here we go. We've got Resolve, we're in the cloud uh workflow thing cloud projects thing I'll make a new project i'm going to call it cloud demo i think i've already got one so it's going to give it a number probably and then we choose where we want the rushes to be now this isn't where you've already got the rushes it's where you want the cloud ones downloaded to and stored uh, when you're using the system so i'll just show you this so we'll, we'll just select this as my rushes folder none of these i'm not going to make like a separate folder for it i'm just going to use the raw one you'll see why in a minute uh, and then we can allow or well, decide whether we want to allow multiple users or not to access it at the same time. We'll have it a single user for this one. And then you can decide if you want to be able to sync the rushes. And obviously we do, but it gives you a couple of options, either not to sync it at all, whether you just want to sync those proxies for like really quick upload and download, or whether you want to sync the proxies and the originals to say whether someone else might be doing color work or editing or doing some more technical stuff that you do want the originals there. Obviously the transfers will be slower, but you will get the proxies as well. So you'll get it first. Uh, and then this like remote camera system, which is kind of new. I think that's to do with some of the new camera systems that you've got that can upload directly to the cloud storage system in order to edit straight away. A bit like frames camera to cloud system. Um, but we don't need that. We'll just sync proxies and originals and leave all that stuff. So we'll create our project. Here we go, we're in the project. And then what I'll do is I'll just make like a rushes folder and I'll drag in some random stuff. So let's find some things that we might want to use. Uh, let's go in here, go my unsorted folder. When I offload stuff, I, I just have one big folder now um, because this system kind of sorts things for you. So you don't really need to have things in separate places. Um, so ignore the fact that it's already in the rushes folder. This, this, this could be from anywhere. So in fact, we'll, we'll grab a couple of things from here, uh, put those in here. And then what we'll do is we'll also grab a couple of bits from like my downloads. Or in fact, actually, yeah, let's use this one, like my OBS captures. Um, we'll just use a random one of those. Uh, and what you can see is it's already doing stuff. Like it's already, you've got these little blue icons. Um, and you can see here, it's like syncing, syncing the files here. And it's also generating proxies at the same time. So we can see that little pink icon to say whether it's got a proxy or not. And then the little, that one says whether it's done or not. So let's pull these in here. Um, let's zoom in a bit so we can actually see what we're doing. I think these are just random little short, short clips, uh, apart from this one, let's just cut that down a bit. I'm just demoing it to show what it does. And then say we, we do some like color work on it or something like that. Um, I don't know. Let's, let's just grab like a, a lot just to just to demo the fact that it's carrying across to another project. There we go. Uh, cool. Right. So is it still uploading? No, it's done them all. That was pretty quick. I've got quite a fast connection here, but that does depend on the connection that you've got. There's this option here to switch between your proxies and your originals. That's kind of another kind of secondary feature, I guess, in to say, oh, I actually want to use the proxies and work with those because they're smaller and quicker. Um, but actually, or I might want to use the high quality version because I'm doing color work or something like that. But for now, let's jump over to another machine and see what has happened. So here we are, we're on a second machine. This is in another place. This is actually in the office, uh, still in London, but completely different location, but I'm remoting into it. Let's load resolve on this machine, see what happens. Cool. So I've got my projects here and I've got my cloud demo here. It's got a little lock icon which means that it is open somewhere else and I can't use it here. That's because I've got it open here and I didn't select allow multiple users to edit simultaneously, but we can just close this one. Still got the lock. So I think we just refresh and then yeah, it appears there. So let's pull this one open. Again, it's going to ask where you want the rushes to be. So the settings that we set at the beginning, they're not across like any machine. Some are in, in terms of like how many people you want to be able to edit at the same time and the camera systems, but where you put the rushes and whether you want to sync the proxies originals, that's like per machine. So I've got a similar folder set up on my D drive here, which is just straight up rushes. And we're going to sync the proxies and originals, and then we're going to open the project. 
cool. We're in here and the media is offline, but we'll see what's going on with that. They are downloading or queued for download, and we can kind of see down here that it's currently syncing them at this speed. So we'll let it do its thing. Uh, it's saying it's syncing eight files. So that's the four originals and the four proxies that were already generated. And you can hear it, see here it's already got the proxies, like it was super quick. You can see the little pink thing here saying it's using proxies for those files. Uh, and we can even go into the color tab uh, and see the changes that we made across the timeline. Um, so everything just like carries across. And here we can switch to these and say we want to use the high quality ones when they're available as well. Still pink because they're not downloaded yet, but they will download in a minute and we'll see those. Um, so yeah, it's like super simple to use. Like I really like it. Here we go. You can see like the pinks disappeared. So that's like the original version of that, of that file. Um, uh, and I'll show you what it's done actually on the, in the folders. So if we go to here, go to my rushes on this remote machine, uh, it's made a folder for the cloud demo. Like it, this is why I didn't make folders previously. It, it does create those already. So it's, it's made folders and also it's copied the folder structure from wherever you grabbed it from as well, which is kind of helpful, sometimes not, but it helps it stay in sync if you've got it on a local machine or something. Um, but the trick here is you don't drag rushes into here and then drag them into the project. You drag them from just wherever they exist. Um, so for instance, like an unsorted rushes folder or a downloads folder or whatever, and then it will sync those to the cloud. And then whoever downloads them via the system will get those like in their kind of nicely contained like rushes folder um so yeah it's it's kind of impossible to lose files at that point like they will always be connected and you, you can swap them out for other ones or have your if you have your own proxy system or something that that could be useful um but yeah that's it for now and it kind of ties in with their wider kind of cloud system so i'll quickly show you that um it's got the black magic website and then we log in here here we go. And then this is the cloud storage. So we can kind of see all of our stuff here and what we're using and all that stuff. So here's the, the cloud project library and then my cloud demo folder here. Yeah. And we've got the same things here. So yeah, I'm wondering whether we can actually download those. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, you can download them or you can download the folder, I guess. A bit like frame. It's not as fully featured as frame. They do have a like review system actually, but I haven't tested it with this. Um, similar to, to frames review system. Um, but yeah, you can see like I've, I've got two terabytes, which I think is like $60 a month or something, um, currently, but I'm not using very much of it. Like I'm only using about 90 gig so far. So, you know, there's, you get a fair amount for what you're using. And obviously it's only uploading the ones that you are using in the project. It's not going to upload a whole folders worth of stuff that you're not using. Um, so you do have to bear that in mind as well. If you've got things that you want to have in the project. Uh, but you're not using yet, you have to pull in the full card maybe to make sure that you're going to upload all of them, but not to upload things you don't need, which is good. Um, so yeah, that's it. I've been using it for my personal projects. I think it's very useful for kind of a larger project as well. Uh, I'm personally using it because I'm across like maybe three different machines at any given time, like this one at home, uh, my laptop, which I take out and about. Uh, and then also my uh, desktop at work. So it just means that if I'm editing something or if I'm uploading footage, all I've got to do is just open a project where I want that thing to exist, drag it in, and then it's done. And then I know like when I go somewhere else, I can edit the thing later. I don't have to like send it to myself and make sure I've got everything synchronized. So yeah, but I can see it'd be especially useful for like multiple editors, especially if you were doing uh, editing and then someone's doing some sound work or some color work separately. Um, yeah, super, super useful. And especially if you're diving into older projects as well, you're like, Hey, the rushes are just here. They're downloading. They're already sorted. I don't need to like work out where they're saved to and then download them separately. So that's it.